Welcome along at 6 tonight. I'm David Oliver. And I'm Joy Robertson. 10 to 15 percent of children and adolescents have some symptoms of depression, according to the Missouri Department of Mental Health. Most of those teens are ages 12 to 17. To help students really understand the problems facing young adults these days, an Ozarks man has started a nonprofit group and is taking his message now to the schools. And Jennifer Denman joins us now. So, who exactly is this man? Well, he's a Christian County Sheriff's deputy, but he's not going as a deputy. He's going as a father, a father whose 19-year-old son decided last year to commit suicide. We did everything to help him grow to be the man that he should have grown up to be. But again, it's not about economics. It's not about the color of your skin. It's not about where you live or how you live. It's just kids go through struggles. And my son struggled. Unfortunately, he chose a direction that I wish he hadn't. And while the loss of his son Christopher was very hard for Heron, he says he doesn't want this to happen to anyone else. So he started this non-profit called Teen Able. Today he presented his message to junior and high school students at Clever High School. His message is you don't have to take a permanent fix to temporary problems. He touches on the stresses kids face like getting good grades, a breakup with a boyfriend or girlfriend, even money problems. And like any assembly, you could see the teens getting fidgety. At the end, though, that's when he shared the story of his personal loss, a story the teens tell me really hit home more than other assemblies. I was like, well, that's a bigger issue than I thought it was. Because like, when you think about it, not that not very many of my friends actually do think about it, but then I was like, wow. It, it was different because most of the times when they would have an assembly like that, the person wouldn't have an effect like, or be affected by something that they were talking about. And I just never heard somebody like actually do it. Aaron says he wants to start offering the program to counselors, even parents. It's a tough subject, Jennifer, but remind us what are some of the symptoms of depression? Well, loss of interest in normal activities, changes in sleep patterns and appetite. There can even be some physical symptoms like stomach aches or severe headaches. And you always take it seriously if someone says Definitely. they're thinking about mm -hmm. it. Jennifer Denman, thanks.